I, I want to get done to the bed of this truck and today seems like the perfect opportunity for me to do that. I'm going to be messing around with this Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. I don't know what's on here now and I don't care enough to call the previous owner and see. Um, he probably doesn't know. Who knows? He did it a long time ago. So what I'm going to do is just touch up areas. There's certain areas where whatever this coating is has been knocked off uh, and I want to fix that. I'm not interested in recoating this whole bed. I'm not interested in taking it to a quote professional shop, air quote, professional shop and having them fix it because they're going to probably want to strip all this out before they put anything on top of it, which makes perfect sense. Um, that just doesn't make sense to me though. I did get this area cut back and cleaned out. He had put, put a bed, uh, battery in here in the corner of the bed. The battery leaked acid and it uh, ate up the truck bed coating. I want to touch that area up. <clears throat> I want to pull this bed back in alignment. Touch that area up. Touch that little ding up there by the back of the bed. And then just kind of come through and, and touch this up. And then I can go through afterwards assuming this stuff sticks i haven't worked much with this rust-oleum truck bed coating and uh it'll be interesting to see how it does if anybody's got some feedback on how that stuff works that'd be pretty cool i'm going to i've been running around without these plugs in fortunately it came with the plugs but i just noticed it sure gets a lot of debris in there and that's a that's a bed rail a u-channel bed rail that runs all the way across and I just don't want it to trap moisture. You see my drain holes. I have three drain holes, middle and end. They're full of debris. So I'm going to come in with some compressed air. I'm going to blow all the stuff out of here. Blow this clean. Pop these little pluggy poos back in there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little hazy out here today. We're going to uh, pull this bed back in alignment and just see how this Rust-Oleum truck bed liner works. Drill the hole out a little bigger so I can put this welded eye loop. A, I think it's three quarter ton, three quarter ton chain come along and a good old fashioned pry bar. This is the perfect length to fit right in here. I just cut those little one by three, just some furring strips, scrap. Put a couple socks on the end so I wouldn't scratch the pretty, pretty paint. And that's better. That's good enough. That gives me a little more wiggle room in case I tend to, because it happens. I didn't whack it a little too hard here, but I can't get to pulling that back up. I mean, I've got a slide hammer, but it's in front of a bed, guys and girls. It's just not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up, clean that up with some rubbing alcohol to degrease and de-dirt it. I'm going to clean up this spot here. And while the alcohol is gassing off, I'm going to... Uh, going to. Oh, when the alcohol is gassing off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mask off a few things like the back of the cab and areas I've done down here where I don't want the stuff to get. We'll see. What made me choose this, and I, like I said, I, I don't remember any recent memory of me using truck bed coating. It's like six bucks, I think, a can, 585, something like that. The uh, first thing I always look at is, is cleanup. Right, I look to see what do you have to do to clean up. This is when finished spraying, wipe off before storing. Clean up wet or dry coating with xylol. Xylol is a methyl ethyl kill you all dead stuff type hot hot base thinner. So I'm hoping that this stuff's got a real hot base to it, thinner base wise, and it will create a good fusion against this. Uh, it'll melt it. The solvent base will react with this existing stuff and get a good melt on. So we'll see. I'll put this away, clean up, and I'll take you along for the process.
So it's been a couple hours and I laid it on pretty good. It's dry to the touch. See, this is why I can't have nice things. This is probably going to stick to my hands for the next week. <laughs> Shoot. Should I have worn gloves? Well, of course. Did I wear gloves? For no. The same reason I have spots on all my jeans and all my t-shirts. Because uh, I don't have any clean clothes because it's like, oh, I'll just do this real quick. I won't need to get dirty and the next thing you know, I'm getting dirty. Put several coats on that. Let's go up here and take a look. I put several coats on the oop, almost tripped on the front of the cab, uh, the front of the bed here. And I coated this corner pretty good. And then with the rest of it, I kind of did over the fender well and I did the uh, just this section of bed right. I just want to see if it'll stick. I don't know. It doesn't really look very textured. I mean, really. I just want it protected from the from the weather. You know, so half of me is like, well, all right. I got this little corner done. It's a dozen coats. Oops. A dozen coats on the spot, on the two spots, plus that one. And I just loaded it up. So two or three, maybe three more cans of this. That's seven bucks a can or so. Six and some change. Actually, it was six eighty-five. I think I can't remember. It wasn't more than seven bucks a can. I could get three spray cans of that, and probably cover the whole bed with it. Cause it sure looks like it's sticking nice enough. Or do I just get a quart of regular Rust-Oleum satin black paint <laughs> and do like my neighbor did? Do like my neighbor did. He just painted his bed liner. His bed liner wasn't looking nice. Got three or four downs three or four uh, houses down and he got a quart of rust-oleum satin black and just painted it and it sticks man he did that a few years ago I don't know what do you guys think I've never used this stuff before it seems awful thin I don't know I look it up on the interweb and I can get a quart for like 20 bucks on eBay just a regular old quart I can get for 20 bones the gallons, I think, run about 75 bucks on eBay slash Amazon. But I could go that route. See, it runs really easy. I don't know how, if you can tell the contrast here. I mean, it was a warm, warm day today, and this bed was nice and toasty. I just was dusting this stuff, and it still ran. This stuff's pretty thin. Plugs back in, but uh, I don't know. Give me your opinion. Let me know what you guys use. You know, there's Herculiner, there's Pour 15, there's Rust Oleum, there's all kinds of off-brand bed liners and whatnot. That's better. Just want a little more room between the bed and the cab, just in case I smash something in there, which I very well might. <laughs> huh. Anywho. I'm going to go around. i got to go uh, do some yard cleaning now that it's cooled off a little bit. It's late in the afternoon. Time to rake some leaves. All right, got to go. Got to run. See ya. Yeah.